Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be installing the latest version of PyStar. And if you're running a three point something version of PyStar, then you're going to have to do this update manually. As far as I know, it won't do it automatically. So you have to download the image and do it yourself. And that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video. You can also follow the same guide if you don't have any image installed on the SD card at the moment. So if you've just bought the Raspberry Pi and bought the hat yourself and you want to uh, install the software on the SD card yourself. So let's get started. If you're already using a Pi Star device, then go into the dashboard for it. Go to configuration. Go to backup restore and then click on download configuration to save all of your settings and we'll be using this file later. The next thing to do is go to this website here pystar.uk slash downloads. If you're watching this video in the future then the four point version is probably going to be in this list here but if you're watching it after I've only just uploaded it then it's going to be in beta releases because it's still very new and it's not fully tested. But here it is, PyStar RPI version 4. This is the one you need to download. So let's download that. And the other thing you'll need to download is Etra, which is the software that you'll be using to write this onto the SD card. So click to download that. While those files are downloading, I'm going to unplug the hotspot and I'm going to take the micro SD card out of it and I'm going to plug the micro SD card into my computer. If you don't have a micro SD card slot to plug it into on your computer then you might need to buy a card reader, a USB card reader and it might come up with this message saying that you need to format it uh, but that's fine, you can ignore that and cancel it. So while PyStar is downloading, I'm actually going to install Etcher. So that's now installed and it's ready to be used. And we just have to wait for PyStar to finish downloading before we can select it and flash it onto the SD card. Okay, so it's finally finished downloading. So I'm going to go into Etcher again and select the image. So I'll find that in the folder that it downloaded to. Okay, so I've selected the image. The correct SD card is selected and then just click on flash. Okay, so now that that has finished flashing, here we are, we've got Windows Explorer open and there's the, um, the main partition and there's the boot partition of the SD card and what you need to do is drag your configuration file back onto here. Okay so I've got the file here and I'm going to drop it onto there. Here it is, it's been copied across. So now you can go and eject the drive down here and then remove it and put it back into your hotspot. Okay, so the micro SD card has been put back into the hotspot. Uh, I got it to start up again and it's connected to my Wi-Fi network automatically. And I've managed to get the page up and you can see up here it says PyStar 4.0.0 release candidate 2. All of your settings from before should be here if you saved them before and uploaded the file. But if you are just installing it for the first time, then to get to this page here, what you'd have to do is wait for a few minutes after the hotspot has started up and then connect to the network that should appear called PyStar. The password for that is Raspberry. And then you should be able to get to this page and log in and put your Wi-Fi details in here so that it will connect onto your Wi-Fi network and onto the internet. Normally you can do the updates with this method just by clicking on update and it will do everything for you. 
but it was just because we were upgrading from three to four so it was a big upgrade we had to do it this way so normally just click on update and it will do it for you so it turns out there was a few updates already once this is completed you can also go into configuration go to expert and then go to upgrade and see if there's any upgrades but as you see we are already running the latest version so that's fine so that's it you should be on the latest version of PyStar now with all the latest features thanks for watching don't forget to click on the like button if you found this video helpful and if you're not subscribed already then I urge you to do so right now so you don't miss any further videos like this one